developments in the death of FAO Daryl Gordon. We now know it was nine minutes between the Cincinnati firefighters fall down an elevator shaft and the Mayday call to rescue him. The question now is why? Nine on your sides, Tom McKee has been checking with fire officials to get the answer and he is live now with what he found. Tom? Well, King Towers is vacant, boarded up and fenced off tonight as you can see, but back in March, Fire apparatus operator Daryl Gordon fell from the fifth floor down an elevator shaft, landing on top of the car about the second floor. Now, today, this preliminary report says that the door to it was marked at a hazard moments before he fell, but he didn't know it. And after that fall, it was nine minutes before the mayday was sounded. March 26th, 5.37 a.m., fires reported at King's Tower on Dahlgren Street in Madisonville. 6.04 a.m., Heavy Rescue 14 with Daryl Gordon arrives and heads to the fifth floor for search and rescue. 6.10 a.m., the words, do not enter, open shaft, are written on the door to the building's elevator. They attempted to radio that out, but due to radio traffic, they weren't able to, um, to get out, and they proceeded down to continue the search. Gordon isn't there at the time and continues to search without knowing the danger that lies ahead. So when he pulled down that door, he, where we believe he did not see the marking. Uh, that was probably due to the heavy to moderate smoke conditions on the floor and also the direction from which he was approaching. 6.12 a.m., Daryl Gordon falls 22 feet down the shaft. Companies don't know that. They're continuing to do their searches. They're continuing to do their ventilation. They're continuing ever fire, other firefighting activities as they move through. The clock continues to tick to 6.19 a.m. The order is given to take a head count of firefighters. Daryl Gordon is missing. Crews rush to find him. At that point, they start to hear the low air alarm from his cylinder, and they hear it coming from the elevator shaft. Um, at that point, they look down the elevator shaft, and they see his helmet on the elevator. 6.22 a.m., the Mayday call goes out. Wait, 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 wait. We have a firefighter down. Gordon is rescued 14 minutes later, but his injuries are too serious, and he dies. Investigators know it's a tragic accident, but keep coming back to one stark fact. Had the closing mechanism for that elevator been working properly, we wouldn't even be here today discussing this. The final report for what may be procedural changes stemming from the fire here is not going to be done until sometime next year. Now, coming up new at 6, what's it like to be inside a smoke-filled building? Well, I have a first-hand account from an experienced fire chief with decades of experience behind him. He'll tell us exactly what it's like. Tom McKean, out on your side, live in Madisonville.